Hello, my name is Charles Lin. I'm at the Ontario Science Centre and today we're going to learn if it's possible to dodge a bullet. So what we have here is the famous bullet time fight scene from the movie The Matrix, in which a protagonist, Neo, slows down his perception of time in order to dodge the bullets fired at him. Now let's assume for a second that Neo actually has the Matrix reaction time, but would it still be possible for him to move his arm in time to dodge the bullet? To help us understand the forces involved, let's look at an exhibit. This is the Fulcrum and Leverage exhibit at the Ontario Science Centre, where there are weights mounted at various distances from the centre of rotation. As you can see, there is a direct correlation between the length of the radius and the amount of force required to move the weight at a given angle. Let's look at the section of the clip we will be examining for our calculations. We will be looking at the forces involved in this 180 degree rotation of Neo's arm. This is a sketch of the fight scene being examined. And this is Neo's motion viewed from the side. The radius is the approximate length of the human arm, which is 0.5 meters. This gives us the total distance traveled by the tip of the arm, pi radius, to be approximately 0.5 pi meters, which is traveled over a duration of approximately 1.0 seconds matrix time. But before we go any further, we need to figure out, what is matrix time? In the clip, the bullet takes about half a second to travel a distance of 1 meter, giving us a speed of 2 meters per second. We can compare this to the real speed of a bullet, 300 meters per second, which is a huge difference. We can now calculate the ratio between matrix time and real time by using the equation time equals distance over speed. As it turns out, matrix time is 150 times slower than real time. Let's assume that Neo's arm experiences linear, uniform acceleration with initial and final velocities of zero. Maximum velocity occurs halfway through, which is 0.25 pi meters and 1 300th of a second into the rotation. The linear acceleration of the arm, calculated from these values, is thus 140,000 meters per second squared. The mass of the human arm is around 3 kilograms, so the force required to effect this acceleration is 450,000 newtons. The maximum weight lifted by one human arm is around 100 kilograms, which would have required a force of 980 newtons. Therefore, Neo is not strong enough to dodge bullets. Let's give Neo a second chance to say that he is strong enough, but would his arm be able to withstand the centripetal forces? In the medieval times, a method of execution was to use a horse to rip off a limb. Now, a horse can exert a force of around 200,000 newtons. Neo's arm also experiences a force of tension resulting from centripetal acceleration, which is around 100,000 meters per second squared. This amounts to approximately 360,000 newtons, which means that Neo's arm would fly off. Therefore, this stunt is impossible. 